you see the posture, legs front. Now, right knee will be bent, right foot touching the left side. Janu Shinshasana pose. Janu uh, is the knee, Shinsha is the head. So the head is moving to the knee. We combine this with the breath. So we combine movement with the breath, arms and inhale. Now your chest is moving to the left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. That's it. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. And we do this forcefully. We squeeze those abs. Exhale, keep it there. Grab your foot or your leg. And then aim your forward fold. Think about your shoulders parallel. So if you notice your left shoulder is going down like mine, and you want to keep it up and have them both in one line. And your head is moving to your knee. Slowly come back. We switch the legs. Right leg is straight. Left foot is touching your right inner thigh. Your sitting bones are grounded. Your left knee is relaxed. Your chest is facing your right knee. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Find your rhythm. You choose. You want to do it fast, do it fast. You want to do it slow, do it slow. It's perfectly fine. You find what works for you. Doesn't necessarily have to be even noisy. <laughs> you can do it silent, up on you. You think it's very noisy when it's forceful. We are squeezing the abs, and it has very strong cleansing effect for the lungs and also from for the mind. And next time you exhale, keep it there, hold your foot, find your favorite fold. And maintain so you can choose, you hold your toes, your outer foot, or whatever. Your pose, your body. And slowly come back, stretch both legs, shake it up. So far, we only have done pranayama. We didn't do any yoga, I mean, not asanas. We did not do basically any physical part of yoga, just breathing, only putting exercises. And by that moment, maybe the body is already quite warm up. We continue with um, it's not a pranayama, it's a very simple stretch. So we do the butterfly legs. The hands will be on the knees, not pushing, I mean, not pushing directly to charge, just resting the hands there. We focus on uh, circles with the chest. So we move the chest forward, then to the left, and back right. So not the whole range of motion for your lower, but just the chest. Oh, like in the in the hip hop dance, so they have this type of isolated movement. This is Iwaku, which is preparing you for hip hop classes or for baby learning. <laughs> We switch directions, so your chest is moving to um, clockwise it's this time, or just the opposite direction. Uh, 
and we come back to neutral. Now we do the big circles rounds from the lower back. So we go all the way forward. We go to right side, back, left. So we do now which side is this? Which direction? Clockwise is that one. As we come forward, switch directions almost to anti clockwise, I think. Or just the opposite direction. And come back to the center, knees close. Give yourself a hug, resting your head on your 